Hello guys, welcome to my channel Life at SAP. Uh, in today's session, we are going to I'm going to cover a new topic uh, that is the SAP query. So SAP query uh, with the help of SAP query, I will be developing uh, one uh, report as per the business requirement. Uh, so the, I, will, I will explain the business requirement first, then I will go into the uh, SAP query in detail how uh, I can I will do that here. So uh, the basic requirement is uh, the business need all the fields of the customer related all the customer uh, all the fields and all the data from the customer related tables. So in SAP we have uh, three tables for customer master data. That and those are K and A one. It is a general data level, general data and K and B one. Company code level data. And KNVV. Uh, this is the sales organization level. So apart from this, uh, we have one more table as uh, a BP level table. So for the business partner, we have BUT triple zero. So now I am. I will go. I will go to the SAP query by using the transaction code SQV1, and I will join these four tables. Uh, and then I will uh, I will pull the data uh, from these tables in in, in one place. Uh, normally, uh, when I need a KNA1 data, I need to go to SE16 and enter the table, and uh, all this data will come for KNA1 at one time. Uh, my business requirement is they need in one report this all the four tables data so this is the requirement so i will show you how to uh, how to get it this one so i'm going to sap here so uh, we have to use the transaction code uh, for sap query uh, sqvi so this is the transaction code here so here we need to mention the name uh, for query which we are using. So I have uh, mentioned as a Z customer master. So I'm, 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 I'm selecting the create and first time I'm creating this one. So I'm selecting the create button. Okay, here uh, and we need to mention the uh, in title name. Uh, the title name is it denotes, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's explained when we execute the report. It will in the header section, it will show the report name. What exactly this one? So here I am giving the business partner business partner info, and here we need to mention the comment like uh, for the reference purpose. This query is uh, in which uh, what we have included in this query we can uh, write the comments here. So here I am uh, returning uh, K N A one, K N B one, and K N B V and BUT triple zero and here in the second option data source we need to select that table join I'm using the table join selection and here mode layout mode is basic mode I am selecting let's hit enter now this screen, this screen will come so here we need to use the second option so insert table so first table I'm taking uh, KN A1 and then again click on insert table and select KN B1 company called level data and again click on insert table and select the KN BV sales organization level data and then again one more time last time uh, i need to select the bp level table but triple zero see when this, when we select inside the table system by itself uh, automatically it will map to the all the it will create one link to each table so here uh, we can see from kn a1 to kn p1 system is already mapped that table for kunar customer Name 
customer number so this we can see here customer number to customer number it's mapped already and from here we don't have any mapping so I am manually I am doing the mapping here So I have selected the BUT triple zero four tables. So uh, system by itself, these three tables, the uh, system has uh, connected the link between these three tables. Uh, for the BUT triple zero, it's not uh, created any link. So I'm manually creating the link here to connect to partner field. Once uh, this is done, just click on one. Once come one step back. And then here, so I'm selecting all the all the fields from the all the tab all the tables so from the all the four tables. So I'm selecting this one. So all the fields will come here. So now here we can see uh, I have selected all the tables here. So in the selection screen, I need to select uh, which uh, which fields I need. So for that, in the general general data level, I will select in the selection screen. I need a customer number, and in the company code level, I need a company code field, and then. Um, in sales organization level, I'm selecting this sales organization field, and in the PP uh, PP level, so here I'm selecting the active type, uh, whether this uh, customer is at active stage or inactive stage. So for that. Let me find the field here. this one complete flag complete so now this one the status flag should be there Yeah, this one central archiving flag. Okay. Now I will I will first uh, then I need to click on execute here. I will see the input parameter fields whether those are correct coming correctly or not. Okay. Select. Uh, see uh, the, this is my input parameter selection screen so here I have given the title as a business partner info that is currently coming and uh, in the from the uh, KNA1 I have selected a customer number and KNB1 I have selected a company code and a KNVV sales organization level I have selected the sales organization level and from the BP uh, business partner table B, uh, BUT000 I have selected this one uh, if I click on F4 uh, if it is uh, checked 
a check is given in the master level title uh, then this customer is in active level if it is not if it is blank then it's a uh, customer is in inactive stage so uh, i will what i will do i will execute without giving any parameter so in system master uh, system will fetch the, all the master data okay uh, The system is fetching the data. So here we can see the data in the ALB screen level. So if we need, we can export this into Excel file with the help of a spreadsheet option as well. So as of now, I'm going one step back here and one more step back. And now I'm saving this my SAP query. Uh, so query the customer master data has been created. So now I will capture this program into one. Uh, one transaction code and I will create one transaction code and then I will execute it uh, for that I am opening a new section uh, here I am using the SE93 transaction code to create a new T code for this ZT code yeah so here I am giving the C underscore bp underscore info now i'm selecting the create button still it's loading just a second i'm selecting the create button here now i'm giving the short text of my transaction name uh, as a us business info and here we need to select the second option here program and selection screen report transaction and just click on right the symbol and now here uh, we need to enter the program name uh, so for that I, i'm going here and click on system and select the status now here we can we can see the program name Uh, this is not this one just a second let's execute the program uh, here select system and status yes this is my program name so I'm copying this program name and going to the other screen AC93 screen and I'm here pasting the screen and my transaction code would be this one the underscore bp underscore info and now if i'm saving it uh, so it's asking for the package i'm selecting the local object so it has been saved so now i will enter the transaction code as the underscore bp underscore info then i will directly see the the selection parameter of this screen just a second this script we will see this so here i'm closing this one and this one is saved i'm going back see this is my query it's already created now i'm going one step back fashion now i am entering the transaction code which we have created z underscore bp underscore info just hit enter so i can see my uh, the, the which we have created with the help of sap query with table join condition so here i'm giving one company code here any company code 
So I'm executing here. If it is a customer master data is available for this company code, then system will fetch the data. Let's see. Okay, so we have uh, this many records for the company called triple one zero so that's all in this session uh, so thanks for the watching my video and please do subscribe thank you